Welcome to the phonics station. Learning to break words into syllables is crucial for young learners. It enhances their reading and spelling abilities by providing a foundation for decoding unfamiliar words. For this activity, you will need to download and print the worksheet for your students. I have posted a link in the description box below. You will also need pencils, crayons, scissors, and glue sticks. If you and your students enjoy this lesson, please like, subscribe, and share the video with all your colleagues so that we can get the recognition that we deserve for our hard work. Thank you. Welcome back to the Phonics Channel, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be counting syllables. Uh, imagine, boys and girls, you have a word like cat. A syllable is a little beat or a sound that you can clap or tap when you say the word. Let's try it. When we say cat, we can clap once. The one clap is one syllable. Let's try a longer word like elephant. When we say elephant, we clap three times for the word elephant. Each clap represents one sound. Take a look at your paper. I'm going to read the directions. It says clap once for each syllable. Cut and paste the number of syllables next to each picture. So these are our numbers that mean tells us how many syllables are in each picture or word. Okay, first thing we're going to do, you need your scissors. We're going to cut out, cut out our numbers. And boys and girls, we're going to cut out all the numbers so that we will be nice and organized. We'll have all our pictures or all our numbers in front of us. So we don't have to stop and go back and cut. Stop, go back and cut. So we'll be, this keeps us organized. You don't have to be a perfect cutter. Just make sure that you don't cut the picture or the number or the word, whatever you're working with. Teachers and parents, I do invite you to take a look at our channel, to take a look at our videos that we've done. They're all cut and paste, interactive, and they help the students learn and they enjoy the videos. Okay, here we are. I have all my pictures in front of me. I have eight pictures and I have eight cutouts. These numbers, one, two, and three, when we paste them next to the picture, they're going to tell us how many syllables are in that word. For instance, ear ring. Get your hands together ready, boys and girls, and listen. You're listening. Ear ring. How many claps did you hear? Two. And how many syllables are in ear ring? Two. So we're going to take the number two. Can you find number two? Here it is. You're going to need your glue stick. We're going to glue the number two next to earring. This means that there are two syllables in the word earring. Okay, let's try the next picture. Volcano. Ooh, that's a big one. Volcano. How many claps did you hear? Three. How many syllables are in the word volcano? Three. Very good. Take your number three and your glue stick. Give it a swirl. And we're going to glue or 
case, the number three next to the volcano. The volcano has three syllables. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Get your hands ready. Grasshopper. How many claps did you hear? Three. How many syllables are in the word grasshopper? Three. Very good. Let me get my number three. Get my glue stick. Give it a swirl. Okay. The next picture, peanut. Peanut. Get your hands ready. Peanut. How many claps? Two. How many syllables? Two. Very good. Let's get our number two, and we're going to paste it. Very good. Okay, now we're ready for penguin. Penguin. How many claps? Two. How many syllables are in the word penguin? Two. Take a look at the next picture, boys and girls. Envelope. Say it. Envelope. Envelope. How many claps did you hear? Three. How many syllables are in the word envelope? Three. Three. Okay. Boys and girls, we are doing great. I know you're doing a wonderful job. Very good, boys and girls. Our next picture is fly. Fly. Get your hands ready. Fly. How many claps? One. How many syllables? One. Very good. Okay, now, who can guess what this is? I heard someone in the back say, it's a scarecrow. You're right. Get your hands ready. Scarecrow. How many claps did you hear? Two. How many syllables are in the word scarecrow? Two. Very good. You guys are so smart. Very good. Okay, boys and girls, we finished our activity, and I know you did a great job. Let's just review what we did today. We read our directions, and we followed them. Clap once for each syllable, and that's what we did. We clapped once for each syllable that we heard, we cut and pasted the number of syllables next to the picture. Earring has two syllables. Scarecrow has two syllables. Fly has one syllable. Grasshopper has three syllables. Grasshopper. Penguin has two syllables. Penguin. Very good, boys and girls. And volcano has three. Vol volcano. Very good. You did excellent. Now it's time for our favorite part. My favorite part, anyway. We have to color our pictures. Okay, I'm going to fast forward the video. And I'll be right back. And there we are, boys and girls. We're all done for the day. Don't forget to write your name on your paper at the top. Very good, boys and girls. Before we leave, parents and teachers, please, if your students are enjoying the interactive activities that we're providing for you, please like, share with everyone you know, and don't forget to, just to 
subscribe to our channel so we can get all the credit that we need or all the credit that we deserve for our hard work. Thank you so much and see you next time.